could the lunar eclipse be a high rapture watch? Very well possible. You have very strong possibility that that lunar eclipse would fulfill some scripture, sun and the moon darkening. It does represent the wedding ring. We're having people being told to get out of the cities because the red dawn is here. They've let thousands of militia, thousands of Hamas people, thousands of Ishmael's run loose here in this country and all other countries. And they're calling for jihad. Now, again, we don't know if these people are going to have the huspa to do what they've been called to do, the extremist. We don't know if they will or not. Uh, but I do believe there's a strong possibility in some of these cities that they have weakened with politics, you know, or states. I, I will say California, Illinois, and New York. The war is escalating. We're not getting any better with that. It's getting heavier, hot and heavier. We've got um, more equipment being moved in. So now if it's possible, if this is accurate, that in November, November the 19th, right? They want to go digital because Fed now is already active. 45 days from September 30th is... November the 14th, three days later, or, or five days later, then would that mean that the United States would adopt the Ripple XRP currency? Because there are a lot of people out here who think that the banks are already set up for it and ready to go. Why would you crack? Because you can't recover from $33 trillion. You can't. Unless you're just going to raise the debt ceiling some more, and then you're going to raise inflation some more. And the cost of living is going to go up. So either way, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. It is a it's it's a done deal, signed, sealed, delivered. Okay, it's over with. Because we're not going to recover. This country cannot recover. We're not going to recover from a war, and we're not going to recover from a financial debt. Okay, it's just not going to happen. There's no way we can pay that back. And you have, just think about everything. And you have thousands of young men enter this country that come from the land of the Middle East and the Arab nation. We got that working against us. And from what I understand, we are running out of oil. Maybe we have 16, 17 days left before all of our barrels and all of our reserve run out. They are completely crashing this country and the world, by the way. People are calling that, saying that Netanyahu is, uh, this is his 9-11. So we have to look at all these things and, and we have to say, listen, the snatching has to be soon and very soon. And the biggest thing that's sticking with, with us is Zephaniah chapter 2. Now, again, there's other scriptures, but Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1 through 5 and 6, probably. Okay, desolate. But God says, repent, get right, get on righteousness, because I'm going to hide a nation that is not desired, a people that's not desired. And Jesus told the Jews, they said, the kingdom of heaven will be taken from you because of your unbelief given to the Gentiles. They opened the books for us so we could come in. The fullness of the Gentiles. So regardless about the 13th, because we know 13, that's Ishmael's number. That's the number of rebellion. We know that's his number. Okay. But there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle that are sticking out, and, and the one that sticks out the most is that ring of fire eclipse. 
in the twinkling of an eye. I'm going to keep repeating this so folks can understand. This planet, this place, Terraformer, this image, it's going to be in darkness. One side will be a little dark, the other. So, and God said in Zephaniah 2, the sun and other uh, books as well, other verses, the sun and the moon will not give their light. They will be dark because they will come in front of each other. Well, not each other, but one will come in front of the other and that will stop the casting of the light. What a prophetic time to be alive, alive in a prophetic time to see all these things come to pass. And all of us who have gone through something physically, mentally, spiritually, the reward, okay, the reward is to get that new garment. That's the reward. So, I don't care, you know, a lot of folks will say, well, this has to happen and that has to happen. I still go back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 15 as, I, as we were talking on Discord. Uh, we are going to walk into a time that's already been set. John was showed that time in the book of Revelation and in heaven. It, it, he was showed a time that was in the future. Imagine that. Just think about that. At the hour, he was at the Isle of Patmos and God showed him. Okay. The revelation of Jesus Christ. And he was showed something in his time. We're 2,000 years from the complete death, burial, and resurrection in seven more years. This is heavy stuff to think about, but fun to think about. We are not 100 years off, 200 years off. We are seven years off. Think about that. Seven years off from 2,000 years of the death, burial, and resurrection. But before he comes back on that horse, he's going to come back on a cloud and take what's his. And as Zephaniah chapter 2 says, I'm going to hide you before my wrath is unfurled on the world. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I hope that you do. And if you have, recommit yourself. Because these times that we're in should make somebody want to wake up and say, man, what's really going on in this world? And then, and the more people I talk to out here in public, <laughs> the more I hear people say, wow, this world is getting crazy. It's getting crazier. This world is about to go. It's about to blow. It's about, and people know it. Why? Because God has poured out his spirit on all flesh in these end times of the last days of the final minutes of the final seconds. He's poured it out. And this is a time, folks, that people need to straighten up and fly right, drive 10-2. Ain't no sitting in the car like this, or or, or, or you sitting in the car like this. Nope. 10-2. Seat belt on. Okay? Yeah, I know that battery is a problem. Ding, ding. I know, it's just procrastination. Got to go over there and fix it. But I, for me, I am I am like just cutting the strings off of this world. And I'm not even concerned about little minute things anymore. I mean, got to continue to pay the bills and the rent and, you know, the mortgage, whatever, and the car note, insurance. Yeah. But my care level for it is low. Just saying. It's time to relinquish the cares of this world. It is, it really is, because we are mass. And the more we say, and the more you say, but there can't be nothing more else than this, can it? And every day something else happens that solidifies the scriptures. So stay prayed up, folks. Um, I keep hearing more and more police sirens every day. But stay prayed up, and let's pray that we are worthy of escape all these things. What a blessing. And I hope to see everybody because at any time that trumpet could blow. At any time. So my prayer is that we're in the we're in the sky. We're in we're we're you know in the atmosphere meeting and we're all zooming 
to the third round. Okay, that's what that's my prayer. Soon and very soon. We're going to look back on this. And it, that's why it's going to be a shout and a hallelujah and a glory in heaven like never before the Bible says. Because we made it. We made it through it. Okay. So uh, we're going to continue to rock out, man. Until we until this happens, channel one is suspended. We on channel two. Uh, I'm gonna, well, you know, we're gonna start getting on Rumble and doing some lives. So um, over there at Rumble at Godly Truth, I, I highly suggest you get over there and sub because until that time, and we're gonna continue to occupy the time in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Peace.